to actually get close to home is because I'm not only a gay dad, but I'm also the proud father of a gay son. And my son is 16 years old. And what happened to them could have easily happened to my own son. And I spread to hear one day that something happened to him. Uh, As the death toll rises across the U.S. from teenage suicides to the bullying and teens feeling like they have nowhere to turn, it turns my stomach to hear someone who would brutally and senselessly take the lives of any human being. Now, it's not clear whether this was a hate crime or not, but whatever you want to label it, it's still a heinous act of violence. These girls did not take their own lives because of senseless acts of bullying. They were taken to a secluded area, and while standing there, shots were fired into their heads, and they were left there to die. Somewhere out there, there's a dad, a mom, a brother, a sister, saying, why did this happen? There's a lot of work ahead for great organizations such as Get Equal Texas, Aldo, and many others. But until then, we all need to be there for each other, support each other, and love each other. If you will please just humor me for a second and turn to the person next to you and either give them a hug or a handshake and let them know that we're here together. We're here as one family. <laughs> Whether it's a handshake or a, a hug, whatever you choose to do, when you do it, I want you to mean it. One last thing that I would like to add to Molly Ogan's family, I want to offer my condolences for your loss. I cannot fathom the pain and agony of losing such a wonderful and beautiful child. To Mary Chapa, I want to wish you a speedy recovery, for I know the road to recovery will not be easy. But with your family and friends at your side, you will be able to accomplish anything. Stay strong, my sister, and keep your head up high. Thank you.